we always uh, start with a new way to display the time. Uh, since the really beginning, we didn't want it to, to have the same clock with uh, always two hands, and we wanted to, to have a, a new approach on displaying in a good way in terms of mechanical art and, uh, and design, but with something visible, something uh, with uh, a real use. At the, the beginning, we can sketch stupid ideas, just to say, okay, this mechanism is nice. We want to put that in front of the scene. Sometimes we have external designers, sometimes we have external engineers, but the team here, the heart of the, of the company, there is a consistency between what we thought at the beginning and what we have in the reality because of the incrementation with the in industrial and mechanical needs. The, the first uh, way to, to, to design the, the, the HL, the first HL1, uh, was really uh, the inspiration of just the wheels telling the time. And the connecting road, road arrived just later because at the beginning, we wanted to have a disc for the minute, a disc for the hours, and making it jump every, uh, every single minute, every single hour. But as you know, you need a lot of energy on the second and on the minutes. So we wanted to find another way. And the connecting world system was here to display the retrograde minutes. The TV screen shape was really a, a kind of bet. Because uh, when we finalized the ID in the mechanical way to display the jumping hour, retrograde minutes with this connecting room, the shape was linear. We wanted to have something for the long term. So for that, the TV screen shape was perfect with straight edge, with angles, with uh, the, the sapphire faceted. Everything was done in respect of the mechanical needs again, but the TV screen shape was a link with the movement inside. And we decided to do that in a really rough approach, really minimalistic with straight edge, angles and vertical shape, a block of gold around the movement. We have a rough approach in Atlas, specifically in the, um, in the origin concept. We have two family of products. We have the origin and the avant-garde. Avant-garde will be more ergonomic, more linked to the contemporary style. But origin style is just straight line, minimalistic approach, like a rough design, like architecture. When the way to display the time is interesting, you don't need to have decoration outside. The mechanical is really interesting complex, so the external design needs to be simple and clear. With the round models, uh, starting with the HLQ, we introduced a date in the movement HL. To make it possible, we needed to save space, because we cannot put uh, a disc around the already existing movement. And a quantum disc is circular, so we decided to make an evolution of the first HL case with a circular shape. And finally, it was successful because the thickness was the same, the design of the bezel was the same, everything was made just to see the evolution, the fine-tuning evolution. So regarding the HL2, HL2, which is the, the masterpiece uh, right now of uh, Outland's collection, I wanted to have a kind of link, a belt or a link to display the time. So I wanted to have a jumping chain hour. Finally, the mechanism was designed for this. So the inspiration of the HL2 started from this brainstorming on the idea of making a rotation of the escapement, linked to the display, which is uh, with a chain. And at the end, we said, OK, this movement is crazy. It's pure. It's beautiful mechanism. So we have to see it. So the case has to be minimalistic and, if possible, full transparent. So we started with this design of Sapphire in one piece on the top, one piece on the back, to see a maximum of this movement.